I am very excited about this wahine going off to her new exhibition space. I think she's nearly ready. I'm just doing final touch-ups. This painting is about balancing the archetypal forces in our own nature, forces of light and dark and unity and opposition, creating a stable center of self. This piece is called Blessing the Pharaoh and it's based on the statue at Cairo Museum of Horus and Set blessing the Pharaoh, Ramesses III. The central figure of this painting, I see her as Hinanui Te Po. She has my eyes and the face on the moko kawai of my tūpuna. In Māori cosmology, she is the goddess at the threshold of life and death. She is in the place of a pharaoh being blessed by the polarities of consciousness and experience. Because I already kind of knew that this was the self, the central figure was the self, but it was about finding out, well, what are, what are these other places, what are these other polarities that we're visiting on either side of the self? And um, knowing that we're not always in perfect balance. This painting, it is an aspirational image full of the unknown and our potentiality. Both Set, who represents opposition or challenge or war, and Horus, who is sort of this messianic figure who is um, speaking about a balanced understanding um, of yin and yang, of lunar and solar consciousness. So for me, I think that that metaphor of integrating opposition as a um, and seeing opposition as a really, really revered part of your life that can create a lot of gratitude for what is rather than what should be. When you're an artist, you're staring at a blank canvas. Well, the blank canvas is your opposition. My role is to basically dive into the depths and bring up um, valuable elements to share with the world. And then finally, that moment comes out of nowhere where you sort of roll back the chair and you realize, huh, it's finished. <laughs> That's the moment. That's the moment that you know your process is complete. And then she will go off and, and have a different journey, which is her sharing the message in the wider world.